गुड डे टू ऑल ऑफ यू कंप्यूटर शिक्षा इज सपोर्टेड बाय इन येस्टरडेज क्लास यू ऑल लर्न अबाउट द स्प्रेडशीट लेट अस नाउ रिवाइज व्हाट वी लर्न कैन यू टेल व्हाट इज स्प्रेडशीट एंड व्हाई डू वी यूज इट स्प्रेडशीट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ ओपन ऑफिस यूजिंग व्हिच यू कैन स्टोर योर डेटा in tables with the help of rows and columns each table that you can view with spreadsheet is made of many rows and columns can you tell how many sheets are there in spreadsheet by default there are three sheets by default in a spreadsheet can you tell why we use the column and row header with the help of the column and row header you can see where the cell that you are working on is located meaning which column and which row can you tell what you need to use to go from one cell to another cell to move from one cell to another you need to use the arrow keys and the touchpad or mouse which options can you see in the status bar in the status bar we can see the sheets and zoom box and also formulas now all of you power on your computers and using the method taught to you open the calci file if you have any doubt watch the video and learn we will now learn the step wise method of opening the spreadsheet or the calci file so to do this bring your pointer to the start button on the left bottom of your screen click on that and then look for the all programs option and left click on the all programs option as soon as you click another box appears where there are many programs written now you have to scroll up and down and find the open office program so when we scroll down as is being shown in the video we can see open office 4.1 option available so when you take the pointer there and click there you can see the various options of open office opening so open office spreadsheet is also called open office calci so click on that option with the left button and when you click your spreadsheet becomes available to you or it opens so this is the step wise method to open the spreadsheet or the calci file let us now see what you will learn today in today's class first you will make a table and then you will learn about undo redo copy cut paste and find and replace delete contents delete cells and about the sheet then you will also learn about the formulas for sum multiply subtract and division so first look at the table being shown to you and make a table on your own like this one have you all been able to make the table or not let us now learn about undo can you tell why we use undo with the use of undo you can remove one by one the last work that you had done on the sheet for doing this you can use the shortcut command control plus z 
Let us learn more about using undo by watching this video. With the help of this video, let us now see how we can use the undo option. With undo, you can one by one delete or erase the work that you had done in your table. So to use undo, take your pointer to the edit menu of the menu bar and click on undo. Or you can also use control plus Z as the shortcut command. We are using control plus Z to undo and you can see that the numbers that we had typed in the Hindi column are getting erased. Similarly, we keep using control plus Z and the English column numbers have gone, maths columns have gone. Similarly, whatever we had typed in the spreadsheet is getting erased. So this is how you use undo. Let us now learn about redo. Can you tell why we use redo? With the help of redo, whatever work you have removed using undo can be brought back. This does exactly the opposite of undo. The shortcut command for redo is control plus y. Now, with the help of redo, bring back the complete table and in case of a problem, watch the video and learn from it. With the help of this video, we will now learn how we can use redo. Remember that if you have erased some data from your table by using undo, you can make use of redo. So to make use of redo, you need to bring your pointer to the edit option and then click on redo. Or you can also use the shortcut command control plus y. So as soon as we do control plus y, the last item that we had erased by undo name gets comes back on our table and then a b c d e all the names are coming back next in the roll number column in b column by doing control plus y again we are able to bring in the entries back again by redo so we are doing control plus y using redo and we are bringing all the columns back this way we are able to keep on repeatedly doing control plus y or redo and get all the entries of the table. This is how you will be able to use redo command. Let us now learn about cut paste. Can you tell why we use cut? With the help of cut, you can remove text or a picture or an object from a place where you don't want it and then you can insert the same at a place where you want it using paste. The shortcut command for cut is control plus x and for paste it is control plus v. Now show how you will paste this entire table on a different sheet. If you face a problem, learn by watching the video. With the help of this video, we are going to learn how we use the cut and paste option. So, we want to cut the entire table, all the data in this table from this sheet and paste it on a separate sheet. So, we will first select this data like all the all the data that is there name roll number maths english hindi and all the names so we'll select this data first by using the mouse or the touchpad or the shift keys shift and the arrow keys once you have selected go to the edit menu in the menu bar left click on that and then click on the cut option or you can use control plus x as the shortcut for cut. Once you use control plus x, you will see that your data gets erased 
from this sheet. So there is no data now on sheet number one. Now you should know where you want to paste it. Since we want to paste it on sheet two, we select sheet two by clicking on sheet two option. And now we will paste it by selecting the first A1 cell. And here we can do a control plus V. So you've done a control plus V to get all our data pasted on this. You could also use the edit option. Click there and then click on paste. So you'll get all the data on sheet 2. Now if you go back to sheet 1. By clicking here on sheet 1. You will see that your data which was there in sheet 1. Has been cut from there. And as we have seen we have already pasted it on sheet 2. This is how you will use cut and paste. Let us now learn about copy and paste. Can you tell why we use copy? With the help of copy, we can get exact copies of any text or picture. The shortcut command for copy is control plus C. To get the copies in your file, you will need to use the paste command. Go ahead and show how you can copy the table from the second sheet and also paste the same on the first sheet. Let us now watch this video and see how we can use copy and paste. So for copy, this time we have our data on sheet 2. So we select sheet 2 and find that our data is there. Now we need to select this by using the mouse touchpad or the shift arrow and the arrow keys on the keyboard. So select that entire data or the entire table. And then once we have selected, we take a pointer to the edit menu of the menu bar. Left click on that and then click on the copy option. Or you can use the shortcut command control plus C to copy this. Once you do control plus C or click on copy, your data gets copied. But you will not see any change happening here. Now you should know where you want to paste it. Since you want to paste it on sheet 1, click on sheet 1 and bring the pointer or select the A1 cell because we have to paste from that corner and then you just do a control plus V which is the shortcut command for paste and the data gets copied here. You could also use the edit menu for doing this. Now you see that the entire data that you wanted from sheet 1 has been copied to sheet 2. So you can click on sheet 1 and sheet 2 and you can see that the entire data has been pasted from there. So a copy has been made. Let us now learn about find and replace. Can you tell why we use find and replace? With the help of find, you can search for any word in your document. And then with replace, you can replace the same with a word of your choice. So now go ahead and find your name in your file and replace it with some other name. If you have any doubts, then learn by watching the video. We will now watch this video and learn how we use the find and replace options. So first select the sheet where you have the data, where you want to find something. So sheet 1 or sheet 2, we have data on both. So we have selected sheet 2 here. Take your pointer to the edit menu of the menu bar. Left click on that and then click on find and replace option. Or you can use the shortcut command control plus F. So when you click here or use control plus F, a box opens which is the find and replace box. 
and you have to type the word that you want to search for. So if we type in the search for box, we are typing the letter A. Once you type the letter, you will see that the find option gets highlighted and when you click on it, a box opens which says the it has searched till the end of the sheet. Now do you want to continue from the beginning because it has searched from where the cursor was. So let's click on yes to find the A's in our sheet. So when we click here, the cursor stops at name because it has a small A in it. If we click on find once again, as is being shown in the video, you will see that the cursor will stop at math because again it has the small a. Once again if we click on a, it will find the name capital A. Note that in the find and replace box, we also have match case option at the bottom. So if we were to match the case, here it was all small letters and capital letters all being selected. So if we type only the capital letter A as is being shown in the video and we click on match case, then it will only look for capital A in our text. So now we click on find as is being shown in this video to you and we have clicked on match case, so it will only find the capital A's. So it has come to A. Now we can type something else that we want to replace this A with. Once we have clicked on find, now let's type a name so that this A can be replaced with that name. So we type in the replace with column and we are typing the name Aman, A-M-A-N and then we click on replace. So as soon as you click on replace, you will find that the capital A gets replaced with Aman. Now let's search for B or we have typed the small b and we click on find once again it says do you want to search from the beginning and we say ok and it says that no small b has been found because there is no small b in our text. So we change this to capital B because match case has been also clicked on or we are opting for the match case option. So it will only look for capital B now. So click on find it finds if the cursor stops on B in the name column as is being shown in the video and now we can replace this with the name here. We can type Bharti and after typing we click on replace. So B gets replaced by Bharti. Similarly, let's type in the search for box, let's type capital C and in the replace with we can type any name, let's type Chaya and then we click on replace. So you will see that it will find and it will replace. Just by clicking on replace, we can do both these things. So the C gets replaced by Chaya. Similarly, let's now type in D, capital D and let's type a name here so that we can replace D with that name and we are using the name Dinesh. So first backspace, click black backspace to clear this and then type the name Dinesh to replace it and then click on replace. So it will first find and immediately replace the D with the name Dinesh. So this is how you can use find and replace for your text. You can remove match case or you can click on match case as required. Let us now learn about the fill option. 
with the fill option you can choose where you want to fill the selected data by choosing to select cells in the column above where the data is or down or left or right let us now watch the video and learn about the fill option with this video we will now learn how we use the fill option to fill the data of our column left right up or down in the columns so to fill the uh, to use the fill option we first need to select the data that we are going to be filling so we have as is being shown in the video we select this a column where all the names are written and then take a pointer to the edit option left click on that and then here you see click on fill option and you have options saying down or up which are being highlighted so if we click on down what will happen is that your first a1 cell had the letter or the word name so that name gets copied in all the column in the entire column downwards let's select the next column for the roll number we are now selecting the b column and notice we have selected from 1 to 5 and we click on edit and then we click on fill again and this time let's click on up let's click on the up option so the number 5 which was the last in this column gets repeated or copied in the entire column b so all of them become number 5 in the column b now let's select the math column the c column we've selected this again take our pointer to edit click on fill option now we want to use left and right but you will see that the left and right are not highlighted so we have to select two columns in able to use right and left so we are selecting these two columns then we take our pointer to edit option again click on the fill option and now you will see that the left and right options are also highlighted so we click on right what happens is that the data which was in the left column which is the roll number column also gets repeated on the right column so the data of b column has been repeated on c and you see fives being written there once again let's select two columns to now look for the left side filling the data on the left side so we click on edit we click on fill option and this time we select left so you will see that the data on the right column gets filled in the left column also so the roll number column has also been filled in the name column this is how you will use the fill option let us now learn about the delete contents option by using the delete contents option you can delete all the work that you have done on your sheet however here you will be asked what you want to delete like text number date and other such options watch the video to learn the use of delete contents let us now learn about the option of delete content so if we have data in our table and we want to delete something we first need to select that sheet and take our pointer to the edit option left click on that and then click on delete content as soon as you click on delete content the shortcut of course is you can click on the delete button you will get a box here which says delete content and there are various options you can click on delete all all the data will get deleted 
if you click only on text the text will get deleted so the options are text numbers date and time formula and comments so you can select the ones which you want to delete and then you will be clicking on ok since we have not selected any of the text that we wanted to delete next we go ahead and select the b column so we select the b column and we as we can use the shortcut by clicking on delete button the delete box has come now if we select or unselect the text and let the others remain so you will and when we click on ok the numbers will get deleted so you can see this once we click on ok as is being shown in the video the numbers have got deleted from column b and the text roll number because we have not selected the text is still remaining now let's see if we select the column c we first select that this time we will just click on the text so that the text will get deleted numbers will remain So when we click on OK, you can see that the text has got deleted and the numbers have remained. So this is how you can use this option for delete content. Next, you will learn about delete cell. As is understood by the name, if you want to delete a cell, you will use the delete cell option. By watching the video, learn the use of delete cell. With the help of this video, we are now going to learn how we use the delete cell option. So, as you can make out from the name, if you select any cell and then use delete cell, that cell will get deleted from your sheet. So, we now first select the cell which we want to delete. As is being shown in the video, we have selected in the B column, B2, the B2 cell where there is nothing written and we take our pointer to the edit option, left click on that and then click on the delete cell option. As soon as you click on the delete cells option, you can also use the shortcut command, control plus minus to delete cells. You will see a box opens and in this there are options available as selection. So the options available are shift cell up, shift cell left, delete entire rows or delete entire columns. So when you use the shift cell up, the remaining cells will shift up. And if you are using shift cells left, then the remaining cells will shift to the left. So now we have selected the shift cells left. And you will see that the left cell in the selected cell, which is for number 5, will come there. We will be clicking on OK. And you will see that the empty cell gets deleted. And in its place, the number 5 comes because it has shifted left. Also similarly, the 64 marks of English go into column C and 55 marks of Hindi go into column D. So this is how you will use delete cells with the option of shift left. Let's do this once again with another, we, we select this time the B3, cell B3, click on that. Then click on the edit menu in the menu bar and from the options click on delete cells option. The box opens. This time let's select delete entire rows. So you will notice that as soon as we click on OK after selecting this option delete entire rows, this row will, will get erased. So now you can see one row less is being shown on the sheet. So this is how you can use various options of delete cells.
Now you will learn about the sheet option. With the help of the sheet option, you can move, copy or delete a sheet. Let us see the video and know how the sheet option is used. With the help of this video, we are going to learn how we use the sheet option. So to use the sheet option, we already have three sheets of which we have opened the sheet 2 where there is some data already, a table is there. Now we want to use the sheet option. So we take our pointer to the edit menu of the menu bar, left click on that and then look for the sheet option. So when you bring your pointer to the sheet option, it will show many options available there, move, copy, select, delete, etc. So since we want to make a copy of this, we click on move or copy option. And once we click on this, left click on this, a box opens which says move and or copy the sheet to which document. So since our sheet's name is untitled 1, now next it is asking us where we want to insert it. Do we want to insert it before sheet 1 or before sheet 2 or before sheet 3 or do we want to keep it, move it to the end position? So we want to move it before the first sheet. So now we select the copy option because we want to make a copy of the sheet. Click on that as is being shown in the video. So we will get a copy of our untitled sheet. Click on OK and you will immediately see that before sheet 1 another sheet gets inserted. So you can see here before sheet 1 there is another sheet called sheet 2 underscore 2 which is a copy of sheet 2. You can see all the data which is on sheet 2 also appears on sheet 2 underscore 2. So this is how you can copy a sheet using the sheet option and insert it wherever you want it. Now since we do not want this sheet 2 dash 2, we will delete this sheet by using the sheet option. Click on edit and then come to the sheet option and this time select delete. So as soon as you click on delete, this it will you see a box opening. Are you sure you want to delete the selected sheet? And we say yes. So as soon as we say yes, this sheet 2 dash 2 gets erased and you are only left with the three sheets which you originally had. Sheet 1, sheet 2 and sheet 3. So this is how you will be using the sheet option. Now select the second sheet since you have a table made there. You will next learn the use of some formulas like sum, multiply, subtraction and division. Can you tell why the sum formula is used? With the sum formula, you can get the totals. Look at the picture being shown to you which shows you how the sum formula can be used. Let us now learn with the video how the sum formula is used. With this video, we will learn how to use the formula for sum. So there are many formulas uh, that we can use, add, subtract, multiply, division, sum, product as is being shown here in the video. So we can use the formula or we can do the sum by simply using the symbol. So the first we will learn how to use the symbol. First select the place, the cell, for instance F2 where we need to add the row and click there and bring from the keyboard an equal to sign. We are not using the formula right now. We are just using the symbol. Now click on the cell that you want to add. For instance, we want to add the maths marks for roll number 1 which is 57. 
So click there and after clicking you will see C2 gets written. Then click on the plus sign from the keyboard and then next click D2 plus and then click on E3 like this and when you press enter you will see that the total marks will come. Similarly for F3 cell we put an equal to sign then click on the match marks 60 which is C3 and then put a plus sign by using the shift and the equal to key then click on D3 again put a plus sign and then click on E3 so this way you have got three numbers which you want to add then press enter and you will get we have taken 60 we have taken 70 and we have taken from E3 59 so now we want to add we just press enter and the total marks will come now since you want the same thing to be repeated for the other rows just click on the total that you have just done the 189 cell F3 and you see this dot here keep the left button pressed and then drag it downwards for all the other three rows and you will see that the same addition or the sum gets applied for the other rows and you get the sum for the other rows also. Let us now learn about the use of the subtract formula. Subtract means to take away a part from something. In the picture in front of you, the method to subtract is shown. Watch the video and learn about how subtract is used. With this video, we will learn how to subtract using the symbol. So, we first select the cell where we have to subtract. So, in G2, we have selected that cell below subtract because we want to put the result of subtract here, put the result of subtraction here. Now, select the number from which you want to subtract the second number. So, the first number that we want to select is the, we first put the equal to sign in the G2 as has been done. Then we select the first number. So, we are subtracting from the match marks. So, we click on that C2 and you can see C2 comes written there. Then look for the minus sign on your keyboard. Press the minus sign and then click on the number you want to subtract. So, we want to subtract the Hindi marks. So, we have clicked on E2 and then when we press enter, the result gets shown on G2 a row or the G2 cell. Again, for G3 cell, we are wanting to put subtract. So, we put equal to, first we select the match num marks which are 60 and the cell is C3. Then we put a minus sign and then we have to subtract the Hindi marks. So, we sub select the E3 cell and then we press enter. As soon as we press enter, the answer gets written in G3 cell. Now, since we want to copy the same for the other rows, we just select G3 cell and keep a pointer on the dot, keep the mouse or the touchpad pressed, left button pressed and drag it down. And as soon as we release it, you can see that the results for all the other rows for subtraction come there. In the address bar, when you put the, select the cell, you can see that the formula is shown there. You will now learn how multiply is used. Multiply 
makes use of arithmetic tables. Let us see the video and know how multiply is used. With the help of this video, let us now see how we can multiply numbers in our table. So first select the cell. We are selecting H2 cell, the cell where we want to get the answer for our multiplication. Once you have selected this, key in the equal to sign, then select the first number that you need to multiply. Click on that. So we are selecting 57 maths marks for name A. And after this, you need to select the symbol for multiplication, which is a star, which is on top of the key 8. So you can keep the shift button pressed and then press the 8 key to get star. Then click on the next number, which is for English 64. Once again, shift and 8 to get the star and then select the third number which is for Hindi 55 or E2 is the cell. So as soon as you press enter there, these three numbers will be multiplied and the answer will be given. Once again, let's see in H3 cell, we put the equal to sign. Then we select the first number which is 60, which is in C3 cell. Then we do shift and 8 to get the star. Then we select the next number which is in D3, 70. Once again star and then E3 for Hindi marks. And then we press enter to get these three numbers multiplied. Now we need to use this formula again for the others. So we just select this and you can see the formula is already there with the equal to sign and the stars. So we just click on this dot with the left button of our mouse or touchpad and drag it downwards to cover all the rows. And as soon as we release our button, all the answers for this multiplication will be there. So this is how you will use multiply with the symbol. Now the last formula for this class is of division. Division means to make parts of a whole. Let us now watch the video and learn how division is done. With the help of this video, we are going to learn how to do division and then we will also learn the formulas to be used for some product and quotient. So for the division, first select the cell which is J2. I2, where we want to get the result of the division. Click there and then type in the equal to sign. Now, click on the number that you want to be divided, the number that you want to divide. So, we are wanting to divide 176, which is F2 cell. Then look for the slash and type the slash for division. Then select the other number. So we are selecting the marks of English which is 64 which is in D2 cell and then as is being shown in the video to you we just press on enter. Press the enter and you will get the result. Once again let's see if we want to get the division for row 3 in I3 cell. We click on I3 and then we first type the equal to sign. Then we select the number that we want to divide. So we have selected the F number from the H column, H3. Then we want to divide. We first put the slash sign from the keyboard and then we select F3 and press enter. So our answer will come. Next, if we want, we can repeat this formula if we want the same numbers to be div divided. So we click on this dot here with a mouse or touchpad and then just drag it down. And you will see that all the other answers for the division will come. 
which is the H column is being divided by the F column. So this way you can get, you can use the symbol method of division. Now we will learn how we use the formula for sum or for addition. So first click on the cell where you want the result of the addition to come. That is J2 cell. So we click there. Then we first have to type the equal to sign. Look for the equal to sign in the keyboard and type that. And next you have to type the formula for sum where you have to type SUM. So you type SUM and then you have to type the beginning bracket which is on top of the 9 number key. So you will have to press the shift key with your left hand and press the number 9 key to start the bracket. Now after the bracket you have to click on number 1. After that you have to type a semicolon and then the other number and then again semicolon and so on. So this is what we will do. So we want to add numbers from the match marks. So we have typed some, we have opened the bracket, then we click on the first number which is 57. Then we look for the semicolon in the keyboard and type the semicolon here after C2. And then we click on the second number that we want to add which is 64. So we click here. So the next number comes. Then if we want to add third number, we will again type a semicolon and then click on the third number which is the Hindi marks 55. Then we go and close the bracket. For closing the bracket, it is on top of the zero key. So you have to press shift and zero together. So once you close that, then you press enter and you will get the sum. And you will notice that the sum which is 176 is also the same as what we had done in the add column. So you can see in add also there is 176. Here also you will see 176. Again, let's do this again for the J3 cell. So we now want to get the answer for the sum or the addition in J3. So we click on J3. Once again, we press equal to and then we write the formula for sum which is SUM and then begin the bracket with shift and the 9 key. Press the shift plus 9 key. So you will get the beginning of the bracket. Then click on the first number that you want to add. So we will click on the match marks which is 60. We can also use the left arrow key to go there. Click there. We need to type the semicolon or what we can do from 60 if we want to add 60, 70 and 59 the maths, English and Hindi marks we will just keep our mouse or touchpad left key pressed, left button pressed and drag it till there till 59 as is being shown. Then use the close bracket which is shift and zero key and then just press enter and you will get the sum for this range of numbers. So you get the sum there which is 189. You can see it is the same as in the add column also we had got 189 since we were adding the three subject marks. Let's do it once again for practice. We type equal to then we type sum then we go to 64 click there and then keeping our mouse or touchpad button pressed we drag it till the Hindi marks till the 67. Then remember to close the bracket by using shift and zero key and then press enter and you will get 203 which is the same as in the add column. Now let us see how we can copy the same formula which we have applied to the J4 
4 cell, we can use the same formula. So, we will click on the J4 cell first. And then you see the black dot at the bottom right side. Click on that and you will find a plus kind of sign coming. Keep the left button on your mouse or touchpad pressed and then drag it down for the other rows. And as soon as you release it, you, you will get the sums or the additions for the fifth and sixth row also. Now, let us see if we want to add some numbers in a column. How we, how we will do that? So, let us take the F column where we have add, we have added all the subject marks and we want to see the total of this column. So, we want to get the total in F7 cell. So, we click on the F7 cell, then press equal to, use the formula for sum, SUM, then open bracket by shift and 9 key and then from the first 176 to 217, just drag your uh, pointer and close the bracket. And then press enter. So, you will get a total here, which is 956, which is for all the marks in the add column. So, this is how you will be using the formula, uh, formulas and the symbol to get the sum. Now, we want to do the product, which is multiplication. So, first click on K2 cell, press equal to and then for multiply, the formula is P-R-O-D-U-C-T, product. Write product, type in product, then press on beginning of bracket, which is shift 9, then click on the first number, which is 57, then you have to type a semicolon. If you don't type the semicolon, then you will get an error in these formulas. So, we type the semicolon. Then we select the second number with which we want to multiply. So, we are multiplying the C2 which was 57, the max marks and we want to multiply it with the Hindi marks which is 55 or E2 cell. So, we press that, then we close the bracket and then we press enter. As soon as we press enter, we get the answer there 3135. Once again, let's do this for K3 cell. To get the product, we first have to type the equal to sign. Then we have to type the uh, formula for multiplication, which is product, P-R-O-D-U-C-T. And then open bracket, which is shift 9. Then click on the first number, which is C3 or the match mark 60. Then click on, then first type the semicolon and then click on the E3, which is the Hindi marks and then close the bracket, press enter. So, you get the result here. Once again, in K4 cell, select that, type equal to product, which is the multiplication formula. Then the bracket open with shift 9. Then the first number 64. Now, if we want to multiply all these three marks for English, Maths and Hindi, we will just drag our pointer with the mouse or the touchpad and close the bracket and then press enter and you will get the answer. Now, we want to just copy this formula. So, we select the cell which is C4. Uh, K4 and we press on the dot there and then just drag it downwards and when we release the button, our touchpad or mouse, you will find that the answers for the other rows will automatically get filled in. Next comes the option for quotient, which is essentially for division. So, if you want to divide two numbers, you can use the formula for quotient. To do that, we first have to 
select the cell where we want the answer for division. So we have selected L2. Then we type equal to and then the formula for division is the word quotient. Q-U-O-T-I-E-N-T. -E Be careful when you type this. Then open bracket which is shift and 9 key. Then you first select the number which you want to divide. Which is the numerator or the number which comes up above the line for division. So we have selected this from the product column. K column 3135 or C K2, the number in K2, then we have to press the semicolon and then we want to you select the number which is the denominator or the number with which we want to divide. So let's select that as is being shown in the video, we are selecting the Hindi marks which is 55 or E2 and then we press the bracket close which is shift and zero and press enter and you get the answer 57. Similarly, let's do it for the next cell which is the L3. Select that, type equal to, then type the formula for division which is quotient, then open bracket with shift and 9 key and then select from the H column the numerator, the first number we have selected which is 247800 or H3 then semicolon and then we have selected the max mark 60 then we close the bracket and then we press enter and we, we get the answer here for the division which is 4130 now you can repeat this by typing in the formula or you can also just select the cell where you had last got the answer or where you had last applied the formula which is L3 after selecting that you can drag it down as has been done earlier so let's see in the video we are now going to select 4130 or the L3 the formula is already there if you can see in the address bar equal to quotient H3 semicolon C3 so we just drag it down and answer for all the other rows will come. So this is how you can use the symbols and the formulas to do add, subtract, multiply, divide and also use the formulas for some product and quotient. Now all of you convert your file into PDF. You have already learned how to convert a file into PDF in the Writer and Impress modules. Next, save your file on the desktop. Today's class ends here. All of you make sure of saving your file and then close it. And then properly shut down your computer. In today's class, you learned about Undo, redo, copy, paste, find and replace and then also about delete contents, delete cells and about the sheet. You also learn about some formulas like sum, subtract, multiply and division. Computer Shiksha is supported by Thank you.